Hey guys, it's Crystal, and today I wanna to talk about five of my favorite tips to improve your work from home life. Big shout out to WebEx for sponsoring this video. I even got a new 4K webcam that I will be giving away to one of you guys, so if that's something that you want to improve your setup, just comment below and let me know your favorite work from home tip. Now the first tip on my list is kind of a three in one and it's just to remember to hydrate, take breaks and set reminders throughout your day if you have to. I know it sounds simple, but it's really just an overall life tip. Drinking water is really important. I cannot tell you the amount of times where I'll sit at my desk, start to edit a video and I just tend to forget, especially if you're a coffee drinker like me, the combination of coffee and no water is a recipe for disaster. Now, along with that, taking breaks is just as important to make sure you break apart that time that you spend sitting at your desk, whether that be stretching your legs, walking outside to get some sunlight, maybe listening to music, meditating, whatever it is, make sure that you take that time for yourself. So water, taking breaks, those two go hand in hand, but it's pretty easy to forget. So setting reminders is really helpful or just setting a cutoff time because it's really easy to wanna to push through a project all night, but the times that I do walk away and get back to the next day usually results in better work and then I'm not destroyed the day after. Moving on to tip number two, use headphones. If you do a lot of video calls, those on the other end will appreciate you greatly because you don't wanna be the one causing the infinite feedback loop. Make sure to look for something with noise cancellation and a built-in mic because that's kind of everything you need. The pair that I've had a chance to check out is a Cisco 730 headset, which is made with video calling in mind because not only are they comfortable and durable, but they even have a built-in mute button, which is super helpful during a call. Beyond that, they also pack 40 millimeter drivers. So if you wanna slip in some music between work, they sound great for that as well. And they're also really compact, which makes them a good option for taking them on the go. Now, before we get into the rest of my tips, I want to talk a little bit about the all new WebEx because WebEx got a little glow up and I am loving these new features, starting with Slido, which is now a direct integration in the WebEx app. You may know Slido as a great platform for live Q and A's and polls. Well, now you can configure these directly into your video call. I have a little, a little poll for you guys. <laughs> So you have to tell me. Wow. <laughs> oh, you should already know my answer. You guys have to you guys have to rank it. Oh gosh. All of these are good. Gosh, I'm doing I should do all of these. Okay, this is what I'm going with, guys. Oh I knew <laughs> I knew Kristen was gonna pick that one. <laughs> Hard. Okay, we're gonna show I'm going to show the results. And you guys will see which one won. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm here for it, guys. It's such a great way to spice up your video conference, especially if you're talking to your team or a whole group of people. And there's a whole variety of different types of polls that you can add. So you can really make that interaction unique to your video call audience. Another great bonus to this new Slido feature is that you can make up your polls live as you're talking in your call, or you can also plan ahead and get them ready to launch before the video conference. And I've been absolutely loving this feature because I've never quite seen anything like this in any video call platform. And it's just such a great way to add natural interaction with your video call audience. Another one of my new favorite WebEx features is real-time translation. So you can say goodbye to language barriers in your meetings because you can now easily toggle on live captions to translate whatever the speaker is saying. So this button down here, the closed captions, turns on real-time translation in WebEx. We currently have Spanish and it's doing a really great job at translating quickly. There's a whole bunch of different languages to choose from. Just for fun, let's do, how about Italiano? Hello, my name is Crystal. Now, obviously this is a really helpful tool in certain circumstances, but also if you happen to know a second language and you wanna brush up on it a little bit, I feel like it's also cool for that. Some of you may know that yo hablo un poquito de español también, so I can confirm to you, it does a really solid job at translating quickly. Another great new feature is immersive share, which really lets you customize what you're looking at in a video conference, especially in a group setting when there's a lot of faces 
pictures and people to look at. You can go up to a five by five grid view, but you can also reduce the amount of people if it's just too much. You can also move the different windows around and put them wherever you want to see them. And all in all, there's just a lot more flexibility when it comes to customizing your viewing experience in a video conference. Now, apart from those new features, the list goes on and on of really helpful tools that makes WebEx faster and easier to use than ever. But if you want to elevate your experience even further, there's some Cisco WebEx accessories that I've been using throughout this video, like my personal favorite, the Cisco WebEx desk camera. This is such a great webcam solution if you maybe want to improve your video quality because it delivers up to 4K video, it's USB-C, and the best thing about it is how small it is because it can collapse all the way down, making it super easy to place in your bag and take with you anywhere. You can put it on a mod monitor, on a laptop, or you can even just position it however you want to on your desk. You can even put it on a tripod. We're all about that versatility. So if you pair those new WebEx features with this desk camera and the 730 headset that I mentioned before, you got yourself a next level setup, my friend. Now, tip number three is just keep it simple and don't overcomplicate your setup. I know a big trend that we saw last year in 2020 was a lot of people using DSLRs as webcams and crazy elaborate setups. And there's definitely a part of me that appreciates all that, but it's also nice to find the balance of looking for what exactly works for you and not making it too complicated. The other benefit to keeping it compact is being able to take your setup anywhere, even if it's just mixing it up and going into the next room, or when you do have to take it on the road, your setup stays the same. Now, tip number four is create a comfortable environment one of the best things you can do for yourself is invest in a comfortable chair, not that $10 fold up special, because not only is it comfortable, but it's good for your back and your posture, and you also tend to get more work done. From there, if you do have a dedicated spot in your home that you work out of, add some other little touches that makes you happy in your environment. For me, that's definitely always having a candle going, maybe some on-hand snacks. And finally, try to keep it as organized as you can. I'm not saying to go over the top crazy because we're all human and there's bound to be messes here and there. And honestly, I'm not the greatest at this, but I work so much better out of a clean room. Now, tip number five kind of goes hand in hand with the last one, and it's just to pay attention to lighting. And I don't necessarily mean video lighting because although that is helpful, just your overall room lighting is just as important. Specifically, make sure you have enough ambient light so that you're not sitting in the darkness because that's gonna help you not strain your eyes and it also help your overall mood. Now you can absolutely get a ring light or a small desk light to help with your video quality, but if you don't have the means to, even something as simple as using natural light to your advantage can go a long way. In this case, I'm sitting next to a window, and if you have blinds or curtains, that can actually end up looking really flattering on video, as opposed to sitting in front of a window. If you have that natural light behind you, that might make your webcam work a little harder with those highlights tending to overexpose. So definitely keep in mind where your natural light is coming from. So hopefully these tips today helped improve your video call setup and overall work from home life. And again, big thank you to WebEx for partnering with me on this video. And also thank you to you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.